Bubble wrap was never meant to be what it is today. In fact, some of the greatest inventions happen by accident. And this is one of them. How did it happen? And how is it made now? Stick around to find out. But first, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The Birth of Bubble Wrap Back in 1957, two engineers, Alfred Fielding and Mark Chavanis, found themselves caught up in a rather unusual idea. At a time when home decor trends were evolving, they envisioned a type of wallpaper unlike anything the world had ever seen. They wanted to create a textured, three-dimensional wallpaper that would add depth and futuristic feel to rooms. But it wasn't just about aesthetics, it was about innovation. If they could trap air inside layers of plastic, they believed they could make something that looked modern and unique. With that vision in mind, Fielding and Chavanis got to work in a small home workshop in Hawthorne, New Jersey. Their method was experimental at best. They took two plastic shower curtains, pressed them together, and attempted to create tiny air pockets between the layers. But the process wasn't perfect. Some sections had too much air, others had too little, and many just didn't stick together the way they wanted. But what they did create was something intriguing. A sheet of plastic with dozens of small trapped air bubbles. Excited by their creation, they quickly began promoting it as the next big thing in home design. They imagined futuristic homes covered in their innovative bubble textured wallpaper, offering a quirky and modern aesthetic. Unfortunately, consumers didn't share their enthusiasm. The concept of bubble wallpaper didn't catch on, and the idea quickly fizzled out. Interior designers weren't interested, and homeowners found the bubbly texture a bit too strange for their walls. Simply put, no one wanted to decorate their homes with plastic bubbles. For many inventors, a failed idea often signals the end of the road. But Fieldings and Chavanis weren't ready to give up just yet. Instead of abandoning their creation, they started thinking outside the box. If it wasn't suitable for wallpaper, could it be used for something else? Hit the subscribe button to find out. The answer came when they started noticing how fragile items could be cushioned between layers of their bubbly plastic. Glassware, electronics, and delicate objects were constantly at risk of breaking during shipping. Traditional packaging materials like paper and straw were messy and not always effective. Their plastic sheets, however, offered something revolutionary, which was lightweight but durable protection. By 1960, Fielding and Chavanis had officially pivoted their invention towards packaging. They founded Sealing Air Corporation, betting that their quirky material had a future beyond failed home decor. Their gamble paid off. It didn't take long before bubble wrap became a game changer in the shipping industry. The first major breakthrough came when IBM decided to use it to protect its computers during transport. From that moment on, bubble wrap's destiny was sealed. What began as an unsuccessful attempt at wallpaper ended up revolutionizing an entirely different industry. It was a classic case of innovation through persistence, proof that sometimes the best ideas are born from failure. How it's made today. Fast forward to the modern era and I'm sure you're wondering how bubble wraps are being made in factories. But now it's not just about trapping air in plastic. It's a high speed, high precision process that ensures those little air pockets stay sealed and bouncy for as long as possible. It all begins with raw polyethylene, a type of plastic that comes in the form of tiny resin pellets. These pellets are poured into a massive industrial extruder, which heats them to temperatures as high as 450 degrees Fahrenheit. At this stage, the plastic turns into a thick molten liquid, making it easy to shape into a thin flexible film. The melted plastic is then fed through a flat die, spreading it evenly into a continuous sheet of warm stretchable plastic. Next up, this thin sheet is immediately fed onto a large drum covered in thousands of tiny evenly spaced holes. Underneath the drum, a vacuum system sucks air through the holes, pulling the warm plastic into each one. This creates the iconic bubble shape we all love. Since the plastic is still warm and flexible, it perfectly molds into the little pockets without popping or deflating. But if you think the bubbles are fully formed at this point, you're only halfway there because another thin layer of plastic is quickly pressed on top of the bubbled sheet. The second layer serves as a seal, trapping air inside the bubbles and preventing them from escaping. The two layers are bonded together using heat and pressure, ensuring they stay airtight and durable. Once the plastic cools down, the bubble wrap is ready for the next step, which is cutting and rolling. At this stage, giant rollers pull the continuous sheet through a cutting machine, slicing it into different sizes depending on customer needs. 
Some bubble wrap sheets are made with larger bubbles for extra cushioning, while others have smaller bubbles for lighter protection. The finished product is then rolled onto massive spools or cut into pre-measured sheets before being packaged and shipped out to warehouses, businesses, and eventually your doorstep. If you're curious about how your favorite things are made from scratch, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Modern factories use advanced automation to make the process faster and more efficient. High-speed conveyor belts, precision cutting machines, and computer-controlled vacuum systems ensure that every sheet of bubble wrap is perfectly formed. Some manufacturers even add special features like anti-static properties for protecting electronics or biodegradable materials for an eco-friendly touch. So the next time you pop a bubble wrap bubble, just remember that each tiny air pocket was carefully engineered and sealed with precision. Because it's not just plastic and air, it's a little piece of modern manufacturing magic. Why is it so good for packaging? So what are the major reasons bubble wraps are great for packaging? Well, first of all, it's incredibly protective. Those tiny air-filled bubbles act like little shock absorbers, cushioning fragile items from bumps, drops, and rough handling during transit. If you've ever received a package wrapped in bubble wrap, you know how reassuring it feels to see those layers of air protecting whatever's inside. The more layers you wrap around an item, the better protection, which is why businesses rely on it for shipping delicate products like glassware, ceramics, and electronics. Even if a package gets tossed around, the bubbles absorb the impact, reducing the chances of damage. Another big reason bubble wrap is so effective is its lightweight nature. Unlike bulky packaging materials like foam or heavy-duty cardboard, bubble wrap adds minimal weight to shipments. This makes a huge difference in the world of shipping, where every ounce matters. Lower weight means lower shipping costs, which is why businesses love using bubble wrap. It keeps products safe without driving up expenses. And for online sellers or small businesses, that cost savings adds up quickly. Whether you're shipping across town or overseas, Keeping packaging light helps keep things affordable. Bubble wrap is also incredibly versatile. It's not just for wrapping items. You can also use it as padding inside boxes to prevent movement. Ever open a package and notice bubble wrap stuffed around the edges? That's because it fills empty spaces and keeps items from shifting during transit, which is another way it helps prevent damage. It's flexible enough to wrap around oddly shaped objects too. Whether it's a fragile vase, a laptop, or a set of dishes, Bubble wrap can conform to any shape, providing customized protection. Another great thing about bubble wrap is that it's reusable. Unlike other types of packaging, materials that get thrown away after one use, bubble wrap can be saved and used again. If you've ever popped a few bubbles for fun, you'll notice that it doesn't tear easily. Many businesses and individuals reuse bubble wrap for their own shipments, storage, or even for moving to a new place. And if you're someone who enjoys popping those bubbles for stress relief, well, that's just an added bonus. Lastly, bubble wrap provides a level of moisture resistance. While it's not completely waterproof, it does offer some protection against humidity and minor spills. This is especially important for shipping electronics, artwork, or any items that could be affected by moisture exposure. A layer of bubble wrap adds that extra bit of security, giving both the sender and recipient peace of mind. All these reasons make bubble wrap a go-to choice for packaging. It's lightweight, protective, versatile, reusable, and even offers some moisture resistance. That's why it remains one of the most popular packaging materials for businesses and individuals alike. And let's be honest, half the fun of bubble wrap is popping it. Have you ever wondered why that is so satisfying? Well, scientists say popping bubble wrap can actually relieve stress. The little burst of air gives your brain a mini thrill, kind of like popping knuckles or squeezing a stress ball. Some even say it helps them focus. Maybe that's why it's so addictive. Kind of like the videos on our channel. If you agree, make sure to subscribe for more. The future of bubble wrap. So what does the future hold for bubble wrap? Well, if you thought bubble wrap was just going to stay the same old plastic sheet with air pockets, think again. The world is changing and bubble wrap is evolving right along with it. Companies like Sealed Air Corporation, the original makers of bubble wrap, are working on futuristic versions that are not only more efficient, but also more sustainable. For starters, the push for eco-friendly packaging is stronger than ever. And that means traditional plastic bubble wrap might soon take a backseat. Scientists and engineers are experimenting with biodegradable materials that provide the same cushioning effect, but break down naturally over time. 
Imagine opening a package wrapped in bubble wrap, made from plant-based materials that decompose just like a banana peel. There'll be no guilt, no waste, but 100% pure protection. Some companies are already testing seaweed-based packaging, and there's even talk of using mushroom-based materials that can be grown into custom protective shapes. So the future could see bubble wraps that are just as fun to pop, but disappear without harming the planet. Then there's the idea of reusable bubble wrap. Instead of single-use plastic, companies are designing durable self-healing bubble wraps that can be used multiple times before needing replacement. Think of it like memory foam, but with air pockets that can refill themselves after being squeezed. Some prototypes include a gel-like material that can reinflate the bubbles over time, making it possible to pop them again and again. That's right, endless popping satisfaction. Another big innovation? Smart bubble wraps. With the rise of smart technology, why shouldn't bubble wrap get an upgrade too? Researchers are looking into pressure-sensitive wraps that change color when damaged, letting shippers know if a package is being mishandled. Others are working on temperature-sensitive bubble wrap that can help keep perishable goods cool during shipping. Imagine a bubble wrap that acts like a built-in thermometer, ensuring your food, medicine, or electronics arrive in perfect condition. And let's not forget about space travel. With more private companies pushing for commercial space flights, packaging needs to withstand extreme conditions. Future bubble wrap might be designed with advanced insulation properties to protect fragile items from temperature changes pressure shifts, and even microgravity. Who knows? The next time astronauts get a delivery on the moon or Mars, their cargo might be cushioned in high-tech space-grade bubble wrap. Even the way bubble wrap is made is changing. Instead of producing massive rolls that take up tons of space, manufacturers are moving toward on-demand bubble wrap production. This means businesses can 3D print their own bubble wrap sheets right when they need them, reducing waste and shipping costs. Some systems even allow you to fill the air pockets with different gases for customized protection. So while bubble wrap will always be a staple in packaging, and even an all-time favorite stress reliever, its future looks more innovative, sustainable, and high-tech than ever. Now head to the comments and tell us how much you love popping bubble wraps. And if you want to learn more about how things are made from scratch, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.